very good afternoon uh, to all of you. So this is a very uh, interesting numerical from uh, current and electricity in which you see you have a left loop and a right loop. And these two loops are connected with each other through a battery. Now the first question is find the potential difference between X and Y. And the second question is find the potential difference between X and Y but the battery has a resistance of uh, 1 ohm. So if you analyze uh, this, you know, you, I have applied uh, Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law in the first loop and the second loop and calculated the currents. Then I have started moving from X to A, A to B and then B to Y and added all the potential drops and calculated uh, 3.7 volts. So you can see the battery, which is an intermediate uh, you know, circuit between the two loops has uh, four volts. So you can see the calculation of VXY where it shows uh, plus four volts. Now, if you look into this circuit very carefully, you know, it's a very tricky one because you have two loops and these two loops are not like a multi-loop circuit. So if you have a multi-loop circuit, generally what will happen is, uh, you know, you will be given a loop and then you will have one more loop which will be, you know, connected to it and you could have batteries and, you know, all of that. So this is a multi-loop circuit, right? Both are loops. But if you look into the problem, uh, you know, you don't have two loops. What you have is two separate loops, but they're connected by an intermediate battery, right? So these are two independent loops, okay? And they're connected by a battery and, uh, you know, you can put a battery here, just an example. Now, there is a difference between the figure A and the figure B. Okay? There is a huge difference between them. Remember, when you study the first law, or Kirchhoff's law, you know, when you start it, you are taught the definition of a loop. Current can only flow in loops. Right? So if you see the figure number A, these are two loops. But here, the two loops are separated from each other by an intermediate branch. This is your intermediate branch. Okay? It is not possible for current to go outside you know, and leave this loop. So the current which is flowing in this circuit will not go like this. Okay? So this intermediate circuit, you know, this intermediate circuit will have zero current. Okay? It cannot have any current because it is not part of the loop. And current can only, so the current will exist only in the loop, you know, which is shown to be blue here, okay? And you can see the second loop, but there is no current in the intermediate uh, loop. And if you look into the part B of this numerical, you know, what the extra physical quantity which has been added is a resistor. That's all. So addition of resistor makes no difference because the basic concept that current only flows in loop, you know, still does not change. The law remains the same. So when you have, you know, a situation and you're supposed to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law, be very clear that multi-loop circuits look like this, right? They're still, the loops are connected to each other, you know, so this is a node and, you know, the current will go out of this loop, right? But if you don't have a loop adjacent to a loop and instead what you have is an intermediate circuit, no current will leave the loop and go into the intermediate circuit. So the answer for A and B remains same. So th just the basic definition of loop, you know, has been used as a basic concept. So remember when you study physics, focus is very, very important. Read every line and try to understand the meaning of those lines, okay? Now, focus is very important because focus decides what you learn or what you don't learn. So if your focus is high, you will be conceptually very, uh, 
very very strong but if your focus is weak it's hard to you know be skilled in the area of uh, physics so i hope you enjoyed this numerical and uh, thank you very much for Thank you.